Hi guys, this week on Big on Wine, an excellent Edelsvicker from amazing Alsace. Puzzled? Keep watching and all will be revealed. Coming right up. Hi guys, welcome to another edition of Big on Wine, the show that brings you news, clues and reviews about, yes, everything in the world of wine. And hey, if you're new here, why not consider subscribing? My wine of the week for this week is indeed from France's Alsace. And it's this one here. It's Dopf and Irion Cuvée René Dopf, Edelswicker, and the vintage is 2016. And where I am, the wine comes in for a price of just under 10 euro a bottle. Okay, let's break down that rather complicated wine for you. Dopf and Irion is the name of the producer, and they're based in the small place called Riquevier, which is about 15 kilometers or so north of the city of Colmar in the foothills of the southern Vosges. So this is AC, Appellation Controle Alsace, and we're dealing here with a blend of different varieties. So in this wine, we have Pinot Blanc, we have Sylvana, we have Riesling, and we also have Muscat. So a blend of four different varieties. Now, Edelsvika actually means noble blend. Edel, noble, Svika, blend. So a noble blend. And this wine comes in for a price which is roughly half that of an Alsatian Grand Cru. Okay, now the Edelsvika name is now perhaps more to do with nostalgia than requirement. Um, the varieties of uh, grapes in this wine can be vinified separately or together. Um, you can also find wines um, of maybe even slightly higher quality than this, the Gentil uh, wines, which require separate vinification. Anyway, we're dealing here with a wine which, generally speaking, is a kind of cheap and cheerful blend of the prime varieties found in Alsace. Okay, let's have a look at the colour of this wine and as we can see it has a distinct pale yellow colour. So that's extremely attractive, a pale golden yellow colour. Okay, in the nose, um, Edelsvika generally speaking has a fragrant nose to it and this one is no exception. I'm getting um, a fruity aroma there, um, which is not, I would say, generally speaking, classifiable as citrusy, but I would classify that as flowery, with almost like um, melon, honey melon notes in the nose. So that's interesting. Flowery with honey melon notes there. Okay, maybe even a touch of sweet apple. So a very pleasant wine in the nose. Now in the palate, let's try it in the palate. Yep, now that is a dry, fruity wine. Um, a few grams of residual sugar in there, about 12% alcohol. Um, so fairly standard. Um, it does have a nice citrusy acidic bite to it. But there's also a nice touch of spice or pepper in there. Um, and the finish is almost, almost perfume-like long perfumed finish to it. Okay, so what are we going to be eating um, together with this uh, Edelsvika wine? Well, this is um, a good general purpose uh, table wine. Um, 
this is the kind of uh, thing which uh, the Alsatians would probably um, drink in combination with a bacon and onion pie. Sounds good, doesn't it? Edelsvicker, bacon and onion pie. Yeah, I could handle that. Um, I think this would also go with uh, seafood, uh, flavorful fish, and this would ev even handle uh, something like chicken or turkey. Okay, let's bring you the heads up on this interesting budget wine. This wine comes in for under 10 euro a bottle. It's Dopf and Irion Cuvée René Dopf Edelswicker Vintage 2016. Serving temperature around the 10 degree mark. I'm going to give this wine a rating of three stars plus out of five. Okay, folks, many, many thanks for taking the time to watch today's video. If you've enjoyed what you've seen and heard, feel free to give us a big thumbs up, for which we're eternally grateful. And you can always subscribe by hitting that big red button up there in the top left-hand corner of your screens. I'll be back again next week with another great wine of the week for your pleasure and enjoyment. But until then, this is Tony Melville signing off and saying, hey, keep safe, enjoy your wines, be good to each other. And cheers.